As if playing through the entirety of Legacy of the Confed was not enough, I decided I'll just do another little miniature campaign before, uh, before the end of the year. This one is called Dark Swarm, and this was made for uh, campaign creations. I read the Red Me, and I'm not even sure who, make, who made this, so let's see. Let's see how this goes. First contact. The Overmind sends his fiercest example to the surface. Okay, so before he started talking, or before the second line of dialogue came up, I was thinking that was going to be literally exactly the same as the regular campaign. Uh, let's see. Seems like we don't exactly have a lot to work with here. We got some zerglings. Got a base over there. I guess I'll move these zerglings over to my base. Let's see what we have access to. Oh! Okay, we have access to Zerglings, Hydralisks, Mutalisks, and Ultralisks, so... Uh... I guess I'll want to move over here and take this base. What else is over here? Ooh, just minerals. Looks like we're gonna be hurting for Vespine Gas for a little bit. Uh, let's just move that over here, I suppose. Uh... Oh, wow, this is... Okay. I was not a fan of that tree placement. So I guess now my priority will be get... Get some drones, maybe? I... I kind of want to explore with Zerglings, but I don't know if that's going to trigger anything. Uh, where'd that go? I guess I'll get Overlord speed as fast as I can, as well. I'm assuming I don't have access... Huh, I can build... Okay, I was gonna... S I was gonna say I can build a queen's nest, but I know you can disable the ability to build queens. And still have... allow you to build the queen's nest. Which, apparently, is something the creators of original StarCraft Insurrection were unaware of. Because in the original version of that... You could technically build an ultralisk cavern if you had, I guess, if you use the, uh, modify the phase variance cheat. Because you, you were not able to build queen's nests, but you could build ultralisk caverns. It didn't make any sense. But then again, that's original insurrection for you, I suppose. Also, this looks like a pretty small map. And because of it being real small, I'm guessing the difficulty won't be super high right now. Which, after playing through... through LOTC, I'm kinda glad.
Now, I was gonna play the, uh, the Adun custom campaign, but I read the Red Me, and one of the missions... One of the mission descriptions, the last one, said, I've never beaten this one myself. Anytime a read me says something like that, I immediately get turned off. I tried that I tried that mission in that campaign and uh it was just endless waves of bullshit. So not playing that campaign. Alright, so I think that base is about as saturated as I need it to be. I'll get groove spines. Get a couple more drones on this on this, uh, Vespine Geyser. And I want to expand the creep. Get a layer, of course. And get some evolution chambers, of course. I'm guessing there's not going to be any air in this map. I I'm just guessing. Let me just... Right. Did I bump up the game speed? Yeah, I bumped it up all the way. I should get three evolution chambers. I assume I can go all the way to plus three. Given I can... I can get up to a hive. Uh, I guess that could be... Oh! Okay. I can't build sunken colonies or spore colonies. That's... interesting. I was not expecting that one. You know, get overlord movement, obviously. Uh, get... Get what? Get a drone. Wait, hold on. Okay. Okay, for a moment there, I thought I couldn't build Hydralisks for some reason, even though the den was right there. There we go, it's fully saturated, and, uh... Hmm. Alright, actually, let's explore with the Zerglings, since they can move. Let's see if we can find another geyser somewhere. I think I said gas would be the major problem. Oh! Kill all hostile forces. Well, if it's just going to be marines and fire bats with the occasional vulture, my ultralisks are going to overrun them whenever I get ultralisks. If I could ever afford them. Although... Although... With adrenal glands and 333 zerglings, I think that alone would also be enough to slaughter all that. I'm not even sure if there's an enemy base here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fire bats. Okay, more minerals. You know what? If... Yeah, just cancel that. Let's just get a hive. If, uh... Alright, with all these minerals, I'm guessing I'm just supposed to Zergling rush. Because... Oh, there is a base. You know what? Just go ahead and just die. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be Zergling Hydralisk for this, since uh, there's so few minerals. And Lurker Aspect is locked too, it seems, so that's fine. Lurkers would completely 
bust this level as far as difficulty. Uh, let's get... I guess I can get a drone and just completely overrun him with ultras if I can afford an ultralisk. Uh, this might be foolish to assume, but given that I cannot upgrade these creep colonies to sunken or, spo or spore colonies, I don't think the enemy is going to actually attack. Mm. I guess gather minerals then. You were a waste. So I guess I'll send a couple dozen zerglings at them and overrun them. Obviously waiting for adrenal glands to finish. Hmm. I guess I'll go for that now. adrenal glands now. You know what, let's see what we can do with this mini with this little force here. Go ahead. Just go. I saw some goliaths up there, but that should be okay. Oh, they're not even building. Yeah, they're not even trying to build marines. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a... a, uh... a low-importance military installation without much... without much in the way of defense, so I should... I guess that the whole point of this is just to overrun the enemy. If the map doesn't just end, I guess I'll put some, uh, I guess I'll put a hatchery here and start getting some minerals. Or gas, rather. Well, minerals, too, but... More gas than anything else. And now I can afford an Ultralisk Cavern if I even need it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I may have triggered something I didn't want to. Oh, never mind. Cool. That was only 11 minutes in StarCraft time. Okay, so I guess that's it for this mission. I uh, will see you guys next time. Welcome to Mission 2 of Dark Swarm. I'm assuming I'm getting hunter killers. Yup. Oh, micro mission. All right. Dark swarm two. That me last mission was really easy. I see. I do not start with the uh, metabolic boost. Um, I'm gonna assume I don't start with adrenal glands either. 
No, I do not. Actually, let me try again. Nope. No, I don't. What? Uh oh. Oh my. Uh, let's lure him down the ramp so I can actually hit him consistently. Back you up. Let's see, what are our upgrades? Zero, zero, zero. Okay. So we have no upgrades. That should be fine, actually, if this is all we're going to be dealing with. And they are also zero, zero. Presumably zero, zero, zero. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, fire bats. Yep, zero, zero, zero. Uh oh, wall wall defenses. So I'm guessing the idea here is just an easy micro mission with hunter killers. Okay, door opened over there. Hmm. So who the what's the name of the guy? Graphics. Okay, this is all, if this is all they have to defend you, graphics, we're gonna get you out in no time. You just sit tight, and we'll we'll let we'll tell you if there's anything we think you need to know. I don't know. Oh, hello, civilians. Oh, oh, Ooh, we got we got a hydralisk attacking me. So it looks like these Terrans are doing experiments on the Zerg. Unless it's just a random Hydralisk that's never gonna be brought up again. Okay, it was this one that was unlocked from this beacon, so... Hmm. Let's see, did they edit it? Did he edit anything in the... Okay, I'm guessing he didn't edit anything. Oh, I got more. Oh, I got more Hydralisks. Okay, cool. These Hydralisks are not upgraded with, uh... Uh... What the hell's their speed upgrade called? Muscular Augments. And presumably they don't have grooves, grooved spines either. Hello, Zerglings. You know, my micro instincts tell me not to lose any units, but, uh... If we're gonna be given all this crap for free, I don't think it'll be... possible. Like, I could probably throw units away and still win. Uh-oh, Goliath. Can you one- Oh yeah, you can easily 1v1 a Goliath. Uh oh. Okay, I should have. I should have attacked move there. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, no. No, we are not accepting. 
We are not ex Oh, I, I see where the spider mines were. Yeah, we are not accepting those casualties. I could burrow and just wait 10 years for for their health to fully regenerate, but I'm not about to do that. Oh, we get some infested Terrans. Hmm, how are we gonna be able to use these? Hmm. I'm trying to find an instance where we will actually need these. Unless this is just someone deciding to throw a custom campaign together in an afternoon. I realized that if I wanted to play a really good Zerg, Zerg campaign, I would have, like, and actually invested a fair amount of time into it, I would have picked Ascension of Duran. Because I know that one's really good. I've seen Jay Verino's playthrough of that. But, like, everyone's played Ascension of, well, I shouldn't say everyone, but a lot of people have played that. And this one's not been played as much. Uh, okay, that door's locked. Get back, we're not wasting a... Uh, how far back was this? Uh... I mean... No? And now I'm just being... Now I'm just being real anal and picky. I'm about tempted to throw some Zerglings away. Uh, you know what, Infested Terran? You're gonna sacrifice yourself today. Where? Boom, baby. That's how we do things around here. And you also will sacrifice yourself. Hopefully this isn't a stupid idea. But, uh, there they go. Quit attacking that one. Get away. Unfortunately, none of my hunter killers are doing particularly well. I'm guessing that the beak there'll be a beacon here to unlock this door. Oh, sentries. Get rid of them.
I'm not saying anything negative about this campaign, but uh, if if this is the level of difficulty that this campaign is, then I'm kind of glad it's only five missions long. Again, no nothing against this campaign per in particular, but eh, it's not really throwing a whole lot on the table at this point. I mean, that could change in the next few missions, but currently this is a little bit... This is a little bit lacking in difficulty or immersion. I, I mean, I realize this was probably made in the not like late 90s, early 2000s when there weren't a whole bunch of custom campaigns out there. There was no Ascension of Duran, no Reaver Menace, Antioch Chronicles, anything like that. Or, hell, I don't even know if Legacy of the Confederation came out at this point. I'd have to look and see when this was actually made, when this one was actually made. But, yeah. I'm assuming we're close to it close to the end of this mission. Unless this is one of those I'm gonna make the map unnecessarily long type micro maps, which some some custom campaigns do, unfortunately. I guess I'll save again in case one of my hunter killers goes down. Teleport pad. Oh. Get on the beacon. Hydralis. Quit being confused. Get on the beacon. Uh oh, I lost a Zergling. Oh no, whatever will I do? I am not going to lose a Hunter Killer. Uh, you go back there. Oh, are we getting... Oh, Grathex, aka... Well, I'm assuming that's an Ultralis. Graphix and Sterling to the exit, and they both must survive. So I'm guessing this is a modified... Actually, no, wait, it can't be. Uh, do I have to rescue him? Oh, I have to rescue him. So I'm guessing that Graphix is a Teresque. Uh, group 4. Group 3. You are group 2. What? Whoa, what's this? Yes, sir, Brett. At your service. Are these tentacle things attached to my brain really necessary? Is this your idea of fashion? I'm sorry. I was just kidding. Are those tentacle things really freaking out? <laughs> oh, well. At least I look better now than I did before. <laughs> I heard the ladies dig, bug guys. It's so animal. I'm just like Batman or Spider-Man. What? Alright, graphics, you're just gonna one-shot these, probably. Yeah. This is undoubtedly Teresque. Yeah, let's just send Teresque in and just eradicate everything. And is this the end of the map? I'm guessing it is. Oh, hello. Oh, they took a wrong turn, and now they're dead. Oh, well. 
victory. Okay. So, I'm a little bit interested to see how this infested ghost will play into play into things. Actually, I might look at the video and see how long each of these are. If they're both under 15 minutes, I think I might just combine parts 1 and 2 into one video. Anyway, I will see you guys for Mission 3. Later. Welcome to Mission 3 of the Dark Swarm campaign. This mission's called Emergence. And uh, Mission 2 is called The Raid, and this one is called First Contact. Locate the ancient temple, and our heroes must survive. I don't think that'll be too hard. Let's see what we have access to. Uh, we might have access to everything. Yeah, we have access to everything. Uh, oh, okay, in this mission we can build, uh, sunken and spore colonies, so... Uh, I'll build a hatchery up there, obviously. There's a hatch. Okay, I was gonna say I need to build one here, but there's already one there, so very good. So I'm guessing I don't need to expand the creep any. Now I have access to lurkers. I will probably want a few lurkers around and about. Uh, let's see. I have mm, probably enough minerals to last. Let's see. I wonder if I could just send Teresk up here, or Graphics. Okay, well here's more minerals, so I'll get yet another, uh, get another, uh, hatchery up there, too. Uh, I guess I'll place this right here. Graphics. I guess you can go over that way. Uh, you can gather minerals, I suppose. Okay, well...
Graphic still has over 70% of his health left, so yeah, I don't think we'll have to worry about him for a while. And he's unupgraded too. He's not even 333. Well, I guess it'd be 53, but whatever. I'm assuming this is not the only base they have. I already have an I already have an ultralisk cavern. I didn't even realize that. I guess I'll get muscular. Oh well, I need to get some more drones gathering gas. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, get in there. Okay. Uh. Gather from there, I suppose. You go here and get some drone. And oh, I can already produce ultralisks. Okay. I mean, I know I have the cavern here, but I don't know. I, for some reason, I thought I would need other building prerequisites. Oh, okay. Wraith, I can't take that out with graphics. Uh, where's Val? Vale Sterling. This is what I used to do when I was a child. I would totally send overpowered, uh... Overpowered hero units like this to just eradicate an enemy bases by themselves. I may have needed to bring... Okay, I think maybe I should have brought some Hydralisks along. But actually, I got Hydralisks right here, so let's bring them up, I suppose. Oh, you Defense Matrix. What a legend. Except that did not help. Get augments, drones, uh, more drones for buildings, I suppose. I need evolution chambers to upgrade this stuff properly. Did I get mus- okay, I got muscular augments, I want to say. Get our three evolution chambers. Spawning pool, of course. Uh, okay, I need a layer. Okay, I didn't think I could do that. That would be a little bit cheap if and easily manipulatable. Well, not manipulatable. It'd be a little bit, a little bit dumb if you could do that. I don't think you could do that anyway. Melee attack. Let's just get everything 1-1-1. One, one, one. 
That's fine, that's fine. Uh, if I were building more hydro or ultras, I would get the upgrades. Oh, it looks like there's only one marine in these. Yeah. Yeah, graphics will take that on the chin and not even th not even think twice about it. Yep. One shot. So basically, I'm doing the uh, the old um, trump card strategy where I just abuse the shit out of the General Duke. Well, abuse General Duke inside that battle cruiser, since nothing else can come even remotely close to hurting them. Uh, gathering over here, I suppose. Um, oh yeah, I need a lair. Just get that one be in the lair, I don't know why. So, I destroyed the base. The question here is... Oh, wait a minute. Just, you're not rebuilding that. Is there more on the map, or do I have to destroy every building? I'm thinking destroy every building. Mission's not ending, so I'm assuming that there's more. Either that or the map doesn't work, but I'm assuming there's more. Oh yeah, the Zerg, the Zerg base. Okay, so I'm... Oh, I'm not quite 111 yet. Oh, all they got are a couple Zerglings. Got it. Now well, this base is going down. I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of tempted to turn on... Oh, actually, you yeah, get back. You're taking a little too much heat. Okay, there we go. Now you're good. W wait M I A and C Uh Spawning pool. I guess I'll just get metabolic boost. I don't have any other well, I don't have any other Vespine geysers around, so I guess I'll just take the the red bases uh the red bases units, or red bases uh, Vespine geysers. They do not have upgrades. So they do not have speed upgrade, the uh, overlords, so I guess we'll slaughter them. Okay, I think I won. Yep. Now I understand why you seek to be the same, and this I cannot allow. You 
Survive or is that just it? Okay, that's just it. So the Zelnaga are returning, eh? I know we're going on the. Well, this is uh, starting to sound a little bit like StarCraft 2, except Overmind's still alive, of course. Uh, you know what? I'm tempted to just go to the next mission. It'll be fast, like the other ones. Short and sweet. Clear the temple and they must survive. Okay. Micro map. Uh, lead with big graphics here because he is clearly our greatest asset. Okay. Full dozen. I have no upgrades. They have no upgrades, it seems. Oh, sunken colonies up there. Uh-oh! Oh, oh, those are my infest- Oh, I rescued them. Ooh, yikes. Oh, what? Ah, I lost all them Terrans. You know what? I'm gonna keep going with this. I thought those infested Terrans for sure were gonna just wreck graphics right from the start. Uh, look. Pointless. <laughs> so basically, completely useless uh, wall of, well, barricade, but useless wall of sunken colonies, or spore colonies. I swear to you, I know the difference. Let's see, do these affect the creep? Yeah, they do. If I had defense matrix, I, okay, I'm seeing now I can't just, oh, I can't, I can definitely not just face tank with, uh, graphics. I might be able to, let's see, did they put detection? No. No, they didn't. Okay, so I guess I'll just do my, uh, revolution strategy, which is, uh, Hell oh, nah, that, that, that'll take too long, I think. Also, I don't want to be... I don't want to be losing... I don't want to be losing men if I can help it. Ooh, graphics, you're really low on health. Yeah, unfor and unfortunately, ghosts... It's going to take forever for... Vale Sterling here to kill this sunken colony. I can't use graphics for anything right now, since he's very, very weak. Too bad I don't have full upgrades. And it's even worse against the Zerg, since obviously their buildings can regenerate.
Okay. Anything up here, maybe? Uh, get up there, please. Oh, another blockade to bowl over. Sterling. And we'll give graphics the the glory of the kill. Okay, uh... Mm, I guess we'll just do this. I'm not pleased at having to do it, but... I will do it. You have no health, you poor fool. I think I can decloak you and have you scout without cloak. Alright. Uh. Okay, now Vale Sterling's de almost dead. code required acquired Let's see is this a sunken or oh get back 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 I'm gonna make another save here I wouldn't give to have a dark swarm right about now. I Sunken colony, I suppose. 
I don't think I can kill this without uh, sending my other units in there. Actually, maybe I don't have to. Let's see what type of colony this is first. Uh, I'm guessing if I had kept those infested Terrans alive. Okay. If I, I'm guessing if I had kept those infested Terrans alive, I would have been able to use them to suicide into the into the colony. But unfortunately, one of them one of them had to catch one on a awkward corner and kill the entire group. Whoa, get back. Okay, now auto attack into the, into the two of them. Where did he go? Oh. Okay, I guess there was nothing else that needed to be done here. I would have liked the healing beacon. Or something. I think Grathix is so, so wounded he can't even really explore. I don't want to waste Cloak on Vale, because he needs, he needs some energy. Uh, let's auto attack. Yeah, because luckily the Zerglings don't have uh, adrenal glands or metabolic boost. Uh, did this guy put a. Oh. Oh, he died. What? What happened? Did Grask betray us? Yeah, kind of seems like it. You know what? There's only one more mission left. Uh, I guess I'll look at it. Thus you were banished from the swarm and marooned on a small moon far removed from any known world. The link to your brethren is broken and you feel cold and alone and free. As the last of the devastating swarm disappear into space, you think back on the recent events. You feel that your friends who were lost on Argus are still out there somewhere. Okay. Uh, uh, wow. The Overmind's a complete jerk. Well, not that... Oh. Not that that was not already revealed. Okay. 
The Zerg Swarm moved to the Terran Sector, destroying all in its path. The Titanic War that broke out consumed most of the Terran colonies and even ravaged the outlying Protoss worlds. As the Pro Prophet had declared, the Zerg Swarm fell prey to, the, to agents of different groups. They laid waste to the Overmind and eventually most of the Cerebrates. The Dark Templar. Is this it? And in the darkness, a new power was born. Kerrigan. Oh. Okay, that's the end of the... Alright, I guess that's the end of the campaign. I did this whole thing in one night. Altered you... And portrait for Vale Sterling Rainblades, thanks to the Star Alliance Campaign Creations and Blizzard Entertainment. Campaigncreations.org, which I don't I somehow doubt that website still exists. Okay. And that's that. So uh I guess I'll see you guys next time for whatever I choose to do next.